Joel chapter 2, verse 21. Fear not, O land. Be glad and rejoice. For the Lord will do great things. Be not afraid, ye beasts of the field, for the pastures of the wilderness do spring. For the pastures of the wilderness do, do spring, for the tree beareth her fruit. The fig tree and the vine do yield their strength. Be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he hath given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain and the latter rain in the first month. And the floors shall be full of wheat, and the fats shall overflow with wine and oil. And I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten, the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. And ye shall eat in plenty, and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, that hath dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be ashamed. And the promise, and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, that I am the Lord your God and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. And I will shew wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood, fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance as the Lord hath said and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. Joel chapter 2, verse 21 to 32. We believe that the Lord is going to send his latter rain, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And we are encouraged that we shouldn't wait for it to happen uh, for everyone. We should seek the Lord each for ourselves daily so that we might be able to have that refreshing of the Holy Spirit upon our lives. We're told in the book Education that it wasn't uh, the people just coming together in truth, coming together in unity. No. They had to be united under the Holy Spirit. And when I say truth, I mean the Bible truth. Because the Bible brings us into the same unity of the faith, like our spiritual gifts are too as well. La 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 up from the ground is how my God caused things to grow. But after 2,000 years from the beginning, God caused it to rain. And rain is water falling from the sky to feed and nurture everything below. From the birds to the plants, from the young to the old, without water we die. We pray for rain today. O oh Lord, please convert our hearts to be like yours. We pray the Holy Spirit would change us from within and bear fruit without by every word you say. Yes, this is why we pray for rain. 
Jesus Christ ascended on high. Then ten days after this, the disciples were in the upper room, united in the truth. They were praying for the former rain, the Holy Spirit power to proclaim. From the east to the west, from the north to the south, the Savior is come, so we pray for rain today. Oh Lord, please convert our hearts to be like yours. We pray the Holy Spirit would change us from within and bear fruit without by every word you say. Yes, this is why we pray. For rain. Now the latter rain will fall on all, preparing right now. So are you seeking supplies of God's grace and forming Christ within? We need this special, very last rain to warn the whole world of all that is to come. To mature to the full and grow into Christ so Jesus can come. We pray for rain today, oh, oh Lord. Please convert our hearts to be like yours. We pray the Holy Spirit would change us from within and bear fruit without by every word you say yes this is why we pray for rain we wait for him to come with clouds but he's waiting for you his image to have he pleads for you in heaven to turn from your sin his blood clean within so let jesus in you'll have peace in him today i pray for rain Today, oh Lord, please change my mind to be like yours. I pray the Holy Spirit would come and take full control of my heart, my mind, my soul. Your Love to define me, your character to bind me, your word to remind me, you're coming soon. So this is why I pray, yes, this is why I plead for rain in Jesus' name. So let it be. Praise the Lord.